Hello everyone and welcome back to the another episode of Sip and Learn. So in last episode we had learned how to do versioning of the blob objects. So following that we will be today we will be learning something in the similar line and we will see how to get notifications whenever something is changed in the Azure Blob storage. So let's say for example uh, whenever a new file is updated or uploaded in my blob or any file is deleted. So in that case, how can we get notified? How can we notify our application that something has changed? So that's what we are going to learn today. And to achieve this particular scenario, there are a few major components or you can say the uh, few three major parts which we need to take care. So first one is Azure Storage. So it is the Azure storage blob where we are going to upload our images and those are the images which we are going to monitor. Next comes the Azure Event Grid. So Event Grid is the routing service provided by Microsoft and the best part of it is uh, it has a built-in support for events which are coming from the Azure services like storage blobs or say resource groups. So we need to create a subscription and that subscription will tell uh, to event grid that which all events and topic we are interested in or what all we need to monitor right and the third and the last one is the endpoint so this is the endpoint which will receive notification so it could be function app or the logic app in fact it could be any custom app which is hosted somewhere else outside azure also so with that let's switch over to the azure portal and see how things work collectively So I'm on my Azure portal and first of all we need to create an endpoint. So I will go to function app. I will create a new function app. So I already have a built-in uh, already existing resource group. So I will be going with that. And let's give a name as uh, func app. And runtime stack, I will be choosing .NET and uh, region would be the same as I mentioned in my resource group. So it would be West US, review and create. So just review it before clicking on the create and if everything looks okay, you can click on create. So it will take a few seconds to get deployed. So function app is deployed. Let's go and okay. So I will go to functions and I will create. I will add one function. So you can see here you can choose whatever you want for demo purpose. I'm going uh, with this portal thing and here you can see that there are multiple triggers which function app supports. So I will be choosing one of these. So let's go ahead with uh, Azure Event Grid Trigger. Click on Add. Okay, so it's done. Now, next we need to go to our storage account and need to do the subscription. So this is my storage account and I will go to events. Uh, click on event subscription. And here we need to uh, provide the subscription name. So I will be giving channel sub. Here you can choose any of this, but for our need, this is the one which suits. So uh, now this is storage account, a CH resource storage, which I have selected and topic name. You can provide it. It's editable feed, but I have recently did it. So it is coming by default for me here. You can see that there are various things or various events which we can monitor. So let's take only one blob created. So whenever a blob is created, we need a notification. 
lastly we have endpoint so we will be going with the azure functions but it do suppose all these uh, different types of endpoints azure function and here choose your resource group choose function app production and this is the one as we have only one function defined inside this function app so by default it has selected this one so click on confirm selection and then click on create uh, it will take a few seconds okay so uh, deployment is succeeded next we need to do is we need to go to our container and try to upload one image so i will upload one image let's say 2.png click on upload so now as soon as this uh, image is uh, uploaded we should get a notification in our function app so let's go to our endpoint and see go to functions go to event trigger and then we need to go to monitor so it usually takes a few minutes so we need to wait for certain minutes and after that we will see that something is appearing over here so you can see that record is uploaded and it is showing at the success state so this is how we used to get notifications and hope you enjoyed learning this um, small tip which is about getting the notifications. So till then and uh, see you next time and till then keep sipping. Thank you.